Hey y'all, I need some help. It's Michael with Urgent Backyard Orchards and I've got tons of nectarines. Too many nectarines, too many to eat, too many for this tree to support. And uh, I did a short a couple of days ago, wanted to do the follow-up video, provide a little more details on one of the things you need to do to make sure that you keep your fruit tree from being overloaded like this, this situation here. One of the things you do is you use the six inch rule. You um, use your pinky, the tip of your pinky and your thumb and you space it about six inches. And that's how you use it kind of as a tool to make sure that's the distance between each of the pieces of fruit. I didn't do that obviously. And if you look over there, we got a situation where, man, there's just a lot of fruit that's weighing down this tree. We'll hope we can make it to the end, about two weeks away from it being ripe. So anyways, check out this video and uh, let me know what you guys think. So take a look at this, man, fruit everywhere. Maybe a thousand or two. I mean, just look at the density, how much fruit is everywhere. And believe it or not, I have thinned it quite a bit. Now, some of the fruit I couldn't reach because they're so high, but I have thinned this tree and still it's too much for this tree to bear. Branches hanging over, touching the ground. So it's gonna be part of my chore today is getting out and trying to prop it up. I've got a pole I'm gonna use to prop up one of these main branches, this one right here. It's really bent over. And we'll see if we can save as much fruit as possible, but I would say two thirds of this fruit should have been, two thirds more should have been pruned. So we'll see. They're gonna be ripe in about two weeks. I'm already starting to see a little bit of bird pressure. I got a net I wanna throw over it just to make sure it stays protected. But man, we've got a situation here that, uh, that's really overwhelming. I wanted to share it with you guys, show you a prime example of what not to do when you have a highly active, productive tree. You gotta help it out a little bit. You got to make sure that the tree is uh, not having too much fruit that it can't support its own weight. Good news is, folks, I have tons of fruit, nectarines, and uh, I will be giving away tons because there is no way in God's green earth we're going to eat all of these nectarines. So that's the fun part of this is being able to share. This is a great tasting fruit tree great tasting fruit, this uh, Desert Delight Nectarine. And uh, I'm going to have to have some sort of event over just to make sure we get rid of all of these nectarines and that they don't go to waste. They will drop. They don't hang on the tree long. You put in all the effort throughout an entire year. And with these nectarine trees, you get about three weeks of ripe fruit. And that's it. So... You got to get them off the tree, preserve them, make pies, eat them, smoothies, freeze, whatever you're going to do. But they're only going to hang on that tree ripe for about three weeks. All right. I thought I'd share this. And again, it's an incredible success and an incredible failure all into one. And I uh, wanted to share that with you. All right. Well, you guys out there, have a good one. Thanks for watching and checking it out and uh, seeing uh, what's going on here in the orchard. All right, guys, see you next time. Take care.